Alrighty there, welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel, Fly It Like You Stole It. I'm your host, Kevin Lacey. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to build up the accessory case for my little Continental A65 engine that goes on the uh, on the back of, on the front of my tow craft. Now, the accessory case uh, is kind of the brains of this little engine, and that through here, your left, your right magneto, your left magneto mounts here. Uh, they're driven by the crankshaft gear. The uh, Magnetos provide spark for the spark plugs. The remaining part of the brains of the engine here is the oil pump, which is driven off of the camshaft gear. Uh, the oil pump provides the lifeblood to the engine. It sucks the oil out of the oil sump, which is a kidney tank that mounts on the bottom down here. Through the suction tube, it sucks oil up here, forces it through the oil suction screen, or the, through the suction screen, and then pumps it through the engine through a variety of little ports inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and build this little dumpling up. Uh, it might be important to note right now also that all my hardware when I disassembled the engine uh, has been sent off for cab plating, which is pretty normal. This accessory housing has been inspected by the use of a non-destructive testing method called Zyglo inspection. The dimensions have been checked for the oil pump gears as have the oil pump gears. Now the oil pump gears are steel, so they were Magnaflux inspected to verify there's no cracks or anything on them. So, uh, some of these parts are just going to be stabbed together, if you will. And the reason being is because I do really not want to, uh, I, well, I don't have enough surface area to hold this to apply the proper torque to the parts that are going to be needed. So I think what the first, one of the first things I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up and stick my Oh, not wrong, wrong washers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up my oil pressure relief spring and my oil pressure relief piston right here. These are going to go into this position right here. They're going to screw right down down here to this portion of it. And on this, you may be interesting to note that this thing has uh, copper asbestos uh, gasket on there. It is very important that the copper asbestos gasket, the little seam on it, goes towards the case half, not towards the twisting portion. Here is my suction screen right here. And so that you can perhaps see this, see there's a little crack right there. I have to get my glasses on. I'll tell you what, getting old isn't for kids anymore. You can see that there's a little slit right here on the back, and that is where the asbestos and fold it into the copper. This is the smooth surface here. That goes against the surface that is turning. The open surface goes against the fixed surface. All right. So now I'm going to just go ahead and slide this in, in position here. Give it a few twists. Get it all set up. Okay, now we're pretty much squared away with that side of the accessory housing. Now the next part of the project is to go ahead and insert my oil pump gears. Again, these are just gears that when they wind up with oil in there, it will continue to suck oil in and from, from the suction tube, from the kidney tank on the bottom, all the way out through the top. So this gear here, in addition, also provides a spline and is what you refer to as your crankshaft drive. Uh, pardon me, not your crankshaft, your, your tack drive. It provides a slot for your tack cable to go in there so you have a tack indication of the cockpit of how fast the engine is turning. Pardon me if I'm stuttering and stammering a little bit, but this is my first time to do a YouTube video channel. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is provide a little pre oil for these things. And for this, because I'm building up a new engine and I'm going to be using chrome cylinders, I will use a little pre oil. It comes in the form of mineral oil. So I'm just going to get a little bit of oil on the, on the shaft here as we go. It'll mess up my table a little bit, but that's okay with me. And I'm going to pack a little in here. Put a little bit on this shaft so that it's got a little bit of lubrication going on there. Drop that in position. Now once I've done that, this is going to be the fun part and it's kind of confusing, but for me, I've done it this way for a while. I've watched the old guys do it. What we do is, now you can see the gears, how they sit in here. So, 
That is the crankshaft gears, or that is the oil pump gears. And they're turning freely. They've already been dimensionally checked, so everything's good there. We have a drive that goes on the back here. And I'm going to go ahead and install the inside portion first, the housing for my, for my, the housing for the oil pump drive gears. Get a little rag here so I can clean up my hands real quick. Let me go ahead and slap the top on this thing. Before I do that though, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to pack grease into the oil pump housing. And the reason I'm packing this in there is because we want the engine to start with oil pressure. Now, this is not exactly what I've used in the past, but today it's about all I can find to use. And I consulted with my engine builder buddies, and they said, yes, the blue plate stuff is great for doing this. I used to get it in a black and silver can, but I can't find that anymore. So I'm just going to squirt a bunch down here between the gears. And again, the purpose of this is to provide the initial suction on engine starting so that we don't start the engine and run it very long without any oil pressure. This will provide adequate suction on the starter. And that's what we're looking for. So, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I probably ought to at this point in time. I think I have probably cleaned with solvent this accessory case four times. I've got an engine building buddy who tells me that he's never seen anybody clean anything too many times. In other words, clean is good. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the housing back over, slip this over the top. Come down ever so gently down here in the position. Stick my little washers on here. Looking good, looking good. snug up now as a precaution this is my tack drive housing and it has a little seal inside here so since I'm going to slip this down over the top of that shaft that comes out of the back here for my tack drive I'm going to go ahead and put a little oil on this I'm actually going to use a little Vaseline it's a petroleum product it'll just it'll dissolve itself real quick on engine startup but it also helps lubricate the the housing as it goes on. And the reason for doing this is to protect my oil pump gear when I lay it over and start torquing down my pieces here. I don't want to bend my shaft here from my tack drive on that oil pump gear. So I will set it about like so. Get myself a little bit of old Vaseline here, good old petroleum jelly. You know, the stuff that everybody has at the house. And I'm telling you, uh, it's a petroleum product and it works really good for assembling rubber parts on engines. There is a rubber seal inside here, so that's what I want to do is I want to protect that rubber seal so that it goes on with some sort of a lubricant. Now, on this piece here, too, it's very important to note, and since it's got such a fancy paint job, you probably won't be able to see it, but this goes on with left-handed threads. Reason being is because the tack drive goes that way, and you want the you don't want that constantly twisting this in the removal position. You want it going the direction of rotation. So, as long as I can remember that, I have to put this, assemble this piece on, carefully slip it over my gears, over my shaft there, and then spin it to the left as I go in. And I'm going to get myself a handy dandy little wrench here, which will probably be this one. Not because, I think it's this one. And I will spin that little dumpling all the way on into the engine. y'all can see that. I'm trying to keep it in the, in the field of view there. 
Again, like I said, I'm not going to torque these pieces back here because I don't have substantial support to do so. But you can see my tack drive is now protruding out here. So when I attach my tack drive cable, that will be the drive and you can see the little slot there. All right. Cool. Now we're up to that part. Now this is another very important aspect here. The torque limits over here tells me that this little cap nuts for a quarter inch go to 90 to 110 inch pounds. And me being the typical middle of the road type of a guy with things like this, I set my torque wrench at 100 inch pounds. Now I gotta also advise you and let you know that this is a properly calibrated torque wrench. Uh, it's very, very important. I have seen torque wrenches lose their torque value very, very quickly just sitting in your toolbox. And that's not good. You really don't want that to happen. Now, on these, on these attachment hardware here, you're also required to safety wire these. They're castellated nuts. So that's why you have a 20 pound uh, range to torque these to. So it's important to line the torque holes up, the, the castellations in the nut up with the holes in the studs so that you can insert safety wire. Now, something else you need to be aware of, when we safety wire these, we're going to safety wire these two and these two. It would be kind of silly if you safety wired from here to here because this is your crankshaft, this is the gear that engages in the back of your camshaft there, and this has to spin freely because that is your oil pump, all right? Okay, let's move it on here, we're going to do some safety wire. Uh-oh, I'm going to blow it up again. Hey, like that. Thank goodness. I'm sorry about that air compressor, y'all, but I had it on a little while ago because I needed some air to help clean out the, uh, some of the ports on the engine here, and I didn't turn it off. Now, because that one ran out, I'm going to find some more. Here we go. One more piece to safety and we'll be on our way. Sounds like somebody's out there committing aviation, doesn't it? Hey, like that. I like it. There we go. Got it now. Okay. Now, give me a piece of safety wire right here. We'll roll wrap this little thing up real quick now. We now have an accessory case housing, suction filter, suction screen on my oil pump, my oil, uh, pump rate, my oil regulator valve right here, my tack drive right here, oil pump on the inside, nice and pretty safety wire job. So if you guys will stay tuned and come back later. Uh, Next thing we'll do is we'll start assembling our crankshaft. All right? So, come on back and see us now, you hear? Adios.